Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. So, hopefully now uh, you're not seeing the the little bar that was at the bottom of the screen on the last one. I tried. This game doesn't have doesn't have a borderless window, which is what I was trying to get, because it makes recording a little bit easier. But it didn't have it. So I was trying to do it in a window thing, and that made everything not fit on my screen or something. I don't know. Anyway, there was that little bar, so it should be gone now. And hopefully the voice is a little bit louder now. I noticed it wasn't. Let me see. Sad to say, many robots and cyborgs end up down here. They get hooked on old Chihuahua motor oil, and they stumble down here looking for a fix. Hopefully the lights fade out. Hopefully that's a little bit louder. Um... Yeah, if not, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the, the voice is a little, it's always, the, the voice has always been a pain in this, these games. But hopefully it's, it's working now, hopefully. Nice graffiti art. Or it's better. This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronics shop. Who's over there spying on me? So is it going to say the same thing? This photo was... No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. So it does say the same thing. So if you pick something up, like I said, it just says the same thing. I want to take a look at this. Whoa. It's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me from the top floor of the electronics shop. Well, we're going to have to go take a look then. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler no, I was looking quite at like the, me. I was looking at the shells. Where is he? He's up at the window. We got it. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronics shop. Ooh. He's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. I think someone was getting abducted. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. A Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. So we it doesn't this it doesn't come right out and say it. So apparently we are amnesiaed. Where is he shooting from? Look, 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 the top window. I right, just shot out our headlights. Remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. Motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis Armageddon blend. Louis usually up at this time. I should ask him if he heard anything. Yeah, we should, but we're also going to take a look around everywhere. Everywhere. Another Mike and Ike hammer. Candy cane confidential. So yeah, those are just uh, little pickups we take. Ah, uh, it's a Mike and Ike hammer candy comic. Citizen candy cane. Or are they just all in here? In this area. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make rent. Hey, the the one guy, the Clint lived in one. Don't knock it till you try it. And he was chocolate fiend. Mike and I hammer. Murder, my sweet. I wonder what happens when I get them all. Do I get something cool? Do I get like a... Mike and Ike thing. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Mmm, lead paint. Now, now I'm just looking for comic books. I'm not gonna lie, we're just looking for comic books now. That's all we're doing. I've, I've already given up on figuring everything out, and now I'm just looking for comic books. The Tootsie Rolled. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Tootsie Rolled. Uh, we have fall damage. Ah, uh, don't care. Oh, you, apparently we can run or something. Yeah, there it is. Shift is the run. I can't this remember. leads to Coit Tower. Oh, that does. We do have Coit Tower still. Okay, it's just a little different. Oh, 
Oh, there's a... Looks like there was something over here. Is there a comic book? No. It was just... I need through! I want in! This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. Oh, yeah, he just said that. Oh, no! He's not here! My favorite vegan guy is not here! Oh, wait, or was he over there? He better still be here. Good evening, ladies and charms. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Spinoza. I'm going to be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Listen to this one. Getting weird throwback moments. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm all good for it, but a weird throwback. Well, so far, it's only throwback moments to one game. The Llama Club. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. I don't even know what that is. It's locked, and I need to find a way to open it. Okay. We have all sorts of new things. Savant School for the Intellectually Gifted. Actually, let's let's take a look. What does it say? It's the old Savant School. That had a short tenure here on Chandler Avenue. Lots of impressive graduates, though. The well, winter is coming. Meow. Oh, do we have to look at all of these for points? Mr. Congeniality. Definitely a physics major. Very distinguished. Now that's a nice smile. I wonder what he's looking at. He seems stern, yet fair. Someone get this guy a comb. Oh, now we're getting kind of strange. Well, this joker might have taken Sabinda headshot too seriously. Yeah, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Most likely to start a Fortune 500 company. Whoa, that player be mean mugging me. <laughs> okay. Most likely to start an NGO. Oh, what a strong jawline you have. I'm assuming those are either backers or the, that's the devs. Hey, get a haircut, hippie. The green screen leads me to believe that they're going to Photoshop someone else in later. I don't know if I trust this guy. PI rule number 47. Never trust anyone with a monocle. Hey, that's my ex-wife's boyfriend. You know, I can appreciate any man who wears a turtleneck. What is this guy mad about? <laughs> Must be a pilot. Only pilots wear scarves. I think I borrowed money from this guy once. But I think that must be... I'm wondering... This game must have been Kickstarter. Can I... Is there a crouch button? I don't... There has to be... Oh, wait, there's more. There's so many more. I have to go through all of them. No. Most likely to be a beatnik. Must have been class president. It's like he's looking through me. Most likely to become president? Uh-huh. Hmm. Captain of the football team. Looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. John Lennon? Oh, she looks good in purple. He's almost too serious. Nice shades. Oh, he looks great in a suit. The key to life is not taking it seriously and riding sharks. Most likely to become a famous actor. Class clown? Class of 2022. <laughs> okay. Cutest couple, class of 2022. Uh, most likely to lose his keys at a Pink Floyd concert. Most likely to visit all seven continents. Please don't tell me that there's more up here. Oh, there's so many more. There's so many. Th wait. Okay. There's. Oh, wait. Is there? Is that a comic? Ah, uh, there's at least something at the end of the, at the end of the the tunnel. It's a Mike and I camera candy comic, licorice rope. Uh, do I want to go through all of the rest of these? There's still there's so many more, but they're all worth points. I'm sure you guys aren't interested in seeing what he has to say about every single person. So let's give me a second. 
I do have to share this one because tax. Well, hello there. All right, I, th I think I got them all. So, oh, that's the warehouse. Okay. Everything's just way more spread out, which which I like. It's not that it's bad. I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White warehouse somehow. So he's giving us hints, even though I'm not asking for hints. Fair enough. All right, so we've gotten all of those. We did all that. All of these are closed. The only place that's open right now, he said, is probably... Let's go behind here. Behind Rook's pawn shop is a dirty, ugly alcove that reminds me a lot of Rook himself. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice. To, no one knows these back alleys. Are so Spacebar like lets you examine, so it's not going to skip anymore. We just have to listen to what he's going to say. That's, that's a, a winchy pulley system thing. Too bad the zipline trolley is broken. It's missing a wheel. I a match made in wherever you believe you'll go when you die. For me, it's a garage sale. A match made in a garage sale. <laughs> so we need a wheel for the zip line thing. Oh, there's no. Oh, there, it's still there. Phew. Uh, the gate's locked. But when Rook gets to work, he'll unlock it. So I'll check back later. Is there a comic book back here? Better not be. Oh, where's the thing? The door that leads nowhere. There it is. There's no comic book back here. I'm actually sad. Okay, that's... That was a little weird. This door's just painted on. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew there was something creepy in there. Alright, we're going back down now. Alright, so I guess we can just go talk to talk to Louie. Oh wait. What's this? What is that? That's a, it looks like it's the other wheel. Oh, it's a small wheel. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Well yeah, that'll work. Zipline trolley's repaired. Now we need to find the perfect place to zipline. Ah, oh, yes. Llama Claus would bring packs of cigarettes to all the good children around the world. <laughs> what? Oh, there's the basketball! That's Rick's pawn shop. Oh, I remember the day I came back to my office at that grisly sight. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the water cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant. And it was like they couldn't care less. I guess people are a little apprehensive about taking that bottle back for deposit. So, this game's only referencing the Marsh... No, not Martian Memorandum. Uh, the... Under a Killing Moon, that's it. It's not referencing uh, the Pandora Directive. Unless maybe that's just later, but it's definitely not referencing any of the games after Under a Killing Moon, so I'm wondering... No, Pandora Directive does come after because it stated that. Oh, and another comic! Oh, it's a Mike and I Hammer Candy comic. The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office. I better find them all. If not, I'm going to be very, very, very upset. But we can go check on... Um... Louie. <sighs> Being part of a historical landmark is not really helping my midlife crisis. 
This neighborhood has recently been protected under the Antique Act. As one of the last remaining original 20th century neighborhoods, this area will soon be fully restored. This laser net security system has been provided to protect an area from vandalism and criminal mischief. Basically, this is the excuse why you can't keep moving forward, and at least there's an excuse. <laughs> Now that's a handsome devil. Wait a minute. Arrival P.I. Oh man, how did this happen? Carlos Maldonado. It's locked. I won't be able to enter without proper identification. Oh, so that's his office. Okay. Alrighty. There's someone in there. Oh, we can go in there. Inspector Burns finally opened his own barbecue joint. I bet it tastes just like arson in your mouth. Gross. Look over here real quick. Make sure there's no comic book, because that's the most important thing right now. Uh, it's the sewer to Chandler Avenue. And I never go in there unless I really, really have to. True, but we did we did find a bomb down there or a box that was a bomb. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Well, hello, stranger. Uh, so these are these the choices that 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 we make to know that if we're doing it right or not? Like, okay, uh, that's, I don't know what to pick. Do do we do we flirt? Do we not flirt? What would we do? It's a good question. Um. I think we should um, it's, we can be confused I guess is Louie here he's in the back getting ready to open you're up awfully early want some coffee metaphor or less <laughs> helpful Oh no, all of these, why do these choices don't make sense? Oh no. Uh. Um. Alright, well, let's see. Um. Sure. I can get it. Oh, I know how you like it. Like your women. Full of liquor. Okay. <laughs> Full of liquor. And then the, the, we have these choices that don't make any sense. The real me. Curious. Like, what do you. What do you. This is like Mass Effect levels of saying something and having no idea what the choice actually means. All right, well. Uh, um, sure. Actually, I like my coffee. I like my heart. Black? Alcohols. <laughs> uh. Oh. I can hold it all right. It's just when I drink it, I get really drunk really fast. Is that blood? Ow! Oh, hush. Ow. You're not picking fights again. What? Str <laughs> Stranger danger? Oh, okay. Um. Uh. I don't. Uh, 
I don't know what any of these mean. Sure. Uh, I don't know what happened, but you'd look pretty incredible in a nurse's outfit. Oh my god. Mm, you do, huh? You in the mood for a little role playing? Who do you think you are? Mr. Tall, blonde, and bloodied. Uh, what? Uh, what? The uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, you seem to know who I am. Who are you? I'm Taylor, and I'll be your nurse. I recommend two aspirin and lots and lots of blood rest. Maybe all afternoon long. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, uh... Uh... I mean, sure, may as well keep going. Uh, I have to investigate these gunshots, but maybe if I were to do it really quick. Oh, I have to go into work today, unfortunately. But maybe I have to work tomorrow. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Taylor. Ah, Mr. Mighty. What are you doing here? Uh... What? Mr. Murphy, come on, Louie. What happened to Moy? Is this something I can do for you? Because if not, I got stuff to do in the back. Uh-oh. This is, a. Uh... What happened here? Why are you acting mad at me? You know why. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. Uh, no, we're pretty not drunk. I don't feel drunk. Just, my brain's a little foggy. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? <sighs> what year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. Oh, no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am. My speeder's stolen out here. I'm sitting on a great... God, that was hot! Oi! Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. The Fabergé World Tour 42. The most exotic and exquisite exhibit of the day. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me. There's nothing. Why isn't there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What the hell is that? 
Looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Or maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. Oh. Oh, so, okay. I'm wondering if that was one of the endings to the last game. Huh. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm a little confused with that part. But we'll keep going. What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her. Never again. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Your niece, Taylor, she said something about a, a doctor at the North Hill Clinic? Ah, Kate Donahue. She's a friend of Taylor's. She's real good. I bet she could fix you up. Uh, mm hmm, there's a lot of choices here. So, what about this woman, Taylor? I mean, she seems to know me pretty well. <sighs> that ain't none of my business, Mike. I never thought you was the right guy for her. But two adults can do what they want to do. Well, if you really need to see a doctor. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't be driving in this condition. Tell you what, I'll call you a cab. I'll have them wait till you're ready to go. Oh, we've got... Oh, so now we can actually do choices. Okay, so... Let's just ask about everything, then. It sure is good to have the old mice back. I don't want to get all mushy, but... I missed you, Mike. So, in seven years, something's happened. In the seven years gap. And he's, apparently he's turned into a, a big... A big a-hole, I guess, or something? Um, oh, there's something we can't ask about. Or maybe that's because he just he doesn't know. I wonder if there's only certain things that we can talk about. Well, we'll finish this conversation... And then I think that should be time. Let me check. Okay, alt tabbing apparently takes away the uh, <laughs> the picture that's in the background. Yeah, we can go through all of these, and then head out. We don't get too much of that stuff around here anymore. Cops have been good about cleaning things up. I got no idea who would have been doing the shooting. Or getting taken. We're going to have to go into the, the electronics store to find out. Uh, Cliff's done a real nice job, don't you think? Good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. Wait, Clint runs? We're going to have to go in. <laughs> We're going to have to go into the, to the Ritz. I don't got a ladder. You might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. Oh, so we need a ladder. Okay. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly. Don't always understand what he's talking about, but hey, different strokes for different folks, right? Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. You know, I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. I, I still miss her, even after all this time. Oh, is she dead? I forget. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror, does a lot of investigations, and she's a real peach. Sweet, smart, funny, 
Yeah, I wasn't too happy that you and her was spending time together. But maybe she was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. So him and Tex and his niece were getting friendly, apparently? No, oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember, but I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing, and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by, and then you came back, and something bad had happened to you. I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean, and you just got worse. You got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. Oh, well that's not nice. I can't go to the North Hill Clinic, not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrived. So basically we're gonna have to go over to the Golden thing here, the Golden Gate Hotel, try to find a ladder, and then I guess we're gonna use the ladder to go up into that window. Also, I want to go in there to talk to Clint. Because he apparently runs the place. The places are crazy right now. Time's crazy. And when we come back, we will uh, keep going. This, uh, this case is interesting. Shaping up to be interesting. Until then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.